You may be surprised that there are certain things that you may think are good for your face, but just are not. My name is Dr. Anthony and I'm known as America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon and I help health conscious women over 30 look their best by teaching them a holistic approach to health and beauty. And today I'm going to go over with you my five top things that you should never put on your face. And I bet you're going to be surprised at some of the things that I have on my top five list of things to avoid on your face. Well, let's start with number five. It's bar soap. Now, I'm a guy. You know, I have applied, I've used bar soap to cleanse the skin of my face countless times, like most other men and probably most other women. But bar soap is not good to wash your face with. Bar soap is very drying to your skin and it often contains sodium lauryl sulfate. Now this is a substance that causes the soap to lather really well because we like lathering, don't we? Well, unfortunately, that same lathering substance can really, really dry your skin. So use bar soap on your body if you want, but keep it away from your face. Well, my number four thing you've got to keep away from your face is petroleum jelly. So you may have had it applied by your mother or your grandmother onto your face or your lips, and it was seen and has been seen for a long time as the ultimate natural moisturizer. Well, take a look at what it is. Jelly isn't so bad, but petroleum? It was actually uh, it was actually discovered at the bottom of basically petroleum barrels and this is where it comes from and this is not good for your skin. Uh, it can also clog your pores. It's very occlusive so if you've got any history of any type of acne not good to put on your skin. So stay away from petroleum jelly honestly over your whole body. Uh, there are some natural ones made of beeswax that I would go with instead of petroleum. Well, another thing you want to avoid is body moisturizer. Body moisturizer is great for your body, but not so great for your face. And like petroleum jelly, body moisturizer can clog your pores. It can cause you to break out. Now, you can go to the store and you can buy body moisturizer in these big bottles for just a few dollars. As long as it doesn't contain harmful ingredients, with unfortunate, which unfortunately a lot of them do, then it's not a bad idea to use that for your body. But for your face, stick with a good facial moisturizer. We have one in my uh, line, Yoon Beauty, which is made with natural and organic ingredients called the Calming Antioxidant Moisturizer. It's a great moisturizer for your face, does not clog your pores, and has antioxidants in it. So use a moisturizer like that, one made for your face, not one made for your body. Well, my number two is rubbing alcohol. Now, astringents, you may have heard of that, or toners often contain alcohol in it. And it gives the same feeling as rubbing alcohol on your skin. And that feeling basically is a nice, clean, squeaky clean, colder type of a feel. And it feels good to put it on your skin. But what it does basically is it rubs off all of the oils of your skin. And there are people who have real oily skin, they have acne issues, excess sebum, and they think that using rubbing alcohol or astringents can get rid of that oil. But what happens is, is it gets rid of the oil temporarily, but then your skin realizes that it's missing oil and it creates even more oil uh, in response. And so what can happen is you can get into this vicious cycle where if you've got oily skin and you're using rubbing alcohol or astringents or toners with alcohol, that your skin actually gets more and more oily. So stay away from it. Interestingly enough, a lot of people who have oily skin do really well with oil cleansing cleansing your skin with oils. And that's something that we're going to cover in a different uh, video. So stay away from rubbing alcohol, stay away from astringents and toners that are filled with alcohol as well. So I know you're wondering, what is my number one thing that you should avoid putting on your face? And this one's going to be a bit controversial. It is, yes, that. So there are sperm facials that are very popular. Uh, people literally sell sperm facials for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And there is this belief that applying semen or sperm basically to your skin is actually good for it. Well, the reality is probably pretty far from that. Uh, people say, well, because it contains antioxidants, it's good for the skin. I mean, marginally, but we really haven't tested just how much antioxidants are in that. 
Uh, the other thing is that people say, well, it contains a lot of protein. Well, meat contains a lot of protein as well, and, and we don't necessarily apply meat to our skin, do we? And the other thing with semen and sperm, basically, is that it contains often, well, sometimes, I guess, depending on the company that you keep, it can contain sexually transmitted diseases. And so chlamydia of your eye is not so fun. So this is something, it's kind of funny. Once again, there are places that have these types of facials, but it's not necessarily something that I would use as a beauty product. So I hope that this has been educational for you. So take a peek, subscribe, like this video, comment, and check a look, take a look at these other videos we have coming up.